Hey guys, it's your boy Pajama Billy here, P Billy. Back at it again with an amazing video right now. I'm up 22,000 US dollars on my account. I started this account with $5,000 last week and I was like, guys, I'm gonna show y'all that it's easy to build an account up. It's easy, easy, easy. I was even, you know, talking about it in the, the private group earlier today. Okay, so this is it right now. I'm actually up 20, I'm actually up. 23 on my account so let me show you all what's up right this is it on the computer right now so so eighteen thousand dollars profit eighteen thousand three hundred dollars profit balance for four thousand four hundred and fifty five dollars eighteen thousand dollars profit and then the overall account balance is twenty three thousand dollars right now i got in at this amazing area and the market is actually pushing up right now i can actually increase the time frame Increase the time frame and then you'd see that, oh, you get me? What's happening? Look at this. You see these levels right here? These, this is where the market actually respected. This is where the market actually respected the trend line. Um, so look at this right now. On my phone, you'd see that I'm in a good amount of profits right now, right? But look at this, right? Now, let me show you something. There's a special way to actually grow your account, to actually scale your account. There's a special way you can actually do that. And I was even discussing that in the group earlier today that, hey, this is all you have to do your account, right? You know, you need to understand, all right, cool. What is my level of risk that I want to actually take that I'm comfortable with? And in order to actually be comfortable with a certain amount of risking, or in order to have that mindset to actually think like that, you know, you guys have talked the Millionaire Blueprint. <laughs> so y'all know I'm going to tell you about that, right? <laughs> So the Millionaire Blueprint book will help you level up your mindset, help you, you know, reach a, a whole different level so that you're actually open to actually spending more, to actually making more. A big barrier for a lot of people why they're not actually successful in life in terms of whether it be Forex, stocks, crypto, real estate, anything, starting a business, starting a shop, doing YouTube videos, whatever. The reason why a lot of them are not successful is because they don't have a mindset that, hey, I have to risk something to get something. Meaning, I might have to spend some money and buy a camera, but when I buy the camera, the reward is I'm going to be able to put out quality videos and make money. Say for instance, somebody was even messaging the group today. I was like, bro, starting with $25. Of course you can start with $25, but don't get stuck on just the $25. Try to probably start the 100. Try to put more so you can make more. You're following me, that's what you're trying to do. You're not trying to make more, you're not trying to make pennies, you're trying to make millions. You get me? So I've run up accounts from hundreds all over. Here. But like $25, that's okay, yeah. But just study, study the course first. Take it a little time and go through. And then, you know, while you're studying, you save up to hundred dollars. You save up to hundred dollars, you deposit on Apex Market, you get a 10% bonus, so you have like a hundred and ten dollars to start with. And then once you start, you take your time and build up the Account with the knowledge that you get from the course, and then the book is going to help you stay calm, stay patient, and understand the goal to actually scale your account. The method to actually scale your account. So you need to get the billionaire blueprint book, book, the affirmation card for when you're actually studying, the meditation guide, the habit tracker. So some of you have some bad habits, which is why you're all losing money. You need to get the goal setting workbook as well. Understanding goals so you can actually make money, and you need to actually get the expense track up because if you don't understand the expenses you're not going to be in a position to actually scale your income or scale your trading account because if you don't know how much money you're spending you're not going to know like you're going to know how much you're making there but you're not going to know how to actually prioritize and scale up and scale down the income or your expenses to actually achieve the goal of saving up that account balance or investing that a specific amount of money you need to get the core value assessment so you can be around the right people and the right mindset i need to get the billionaire notebook where you can take your notes on everything you know i take a lot of notes so sometimes you might see me take a little break i'm studying but let that back into this now right so look at this a lot of you guys don't succeed at trading or succeed at building small accounts to big accounts okay not the mindset so there's a specific mindset that you actually need to actually trade, so you have to understand that hey, my way of actually running my account up is all right, start out. I know that I need to go aggressive because I need to get that account to a certain point. So, in order to go aggressive, I have to understand risk management and the same time meaning, of course, I'm going to be risking bigger because I want to start the account, I want to push the account to a certain point. So, I'm going to be risking bigger, like going higher up. But while I'm risking bigger, I'm more cautious, you know, and I'm looking for quality trades over just. Taking a 
a lot of trades. Like I'm not trying to take too many trades. I'm trying to probably take a one or two trade, and I know that I could make my money off of that. I chill, not forcing every trade, not trying to get in on every trade. So if I start up a hundred I try to build up from a hundred to two hundred dollars. I give it to two hundred. I'm, I'm like, alright, cool. From two hundred to four hundred, four hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred to a thousand. Pushing it aggressively, yeah. Sometimes I might even go from a hundred to a thousand in one trade, depending on the opportunity. Scale my account up like that. So once that's a thousand dollars from a startup at a hundred, once that's a thousand dollars now, I have the opportunity to build it from a thousand to ten thousand. So I'm using the same way I was able to actually manage merch on the lower amount from the hundred to thousand, thousand to ten thousand, because this is still a small amount as I say. So I'm trying to build that up to a bigger amount so I can have bigger lot sizes. The bigger the lot sizes, the more money I'm going to have to be able to make. So once I get it to 10,000, I can start throwing my 10 lots, my 15 lots, 20 lots, right? Because it's going to easy, be easy to get my account from 10,000 to 20,000 and 4,000, 5,000. It's easy to get my account from 10,000 to 50,000 with a 10,000 account, right? Because bigger lot sizes and then you're going to be more motivated when money is coming in but it's when you're trading a small account like 100 dollars, 200 dollars, 500 dollars, 1000 the money coming in here but it's not as motivating and as you see like you making um 20k on a trade so when you get to that point where you build that account up out of like danger, danger zone which is like 100 dollars to 10,000 that's like danger zone meaning that's those are small accounts you get out of that danger zone reach 10,000 so from you can build up, up, up from 100 to 1,000 1,000 to 10,000 you're definitely going to be able to build it from 10,000 to 100,000 right so this is what I do when I'm building my accounts I go on my chart and I'm like all right cool I start off with account balance of let me put it up here so account balance um 100 USD and y'all can go back to like my post on my Instagram page follow at pajama millionaire right y'all can go back to my post on my Instagram page and you guys will see what I do right so at a hundred dollars and this is why it's important to use a broker that has one to five hundred leverage because more leverage you have is the more you're able to actually have access to the margin more margin you have access to the, more, the bigger and the lot size you can actually place on a hundred account I'm willing to risk 10 percent right so 10 percent risk that's what i'm actually willing to risk on 100 account meaning all right i can spend 10 dollars so 10 percent of 100 um is 10 dollars right so so I'm, I'm spending 10 dollars and i want to make more than that 10 dollars right so a trade might come where i might be able to actually make five times 10 dollars right which is 50 dollars right or i might be able to make 10 times the 10 dollars which is 100 dollars right some trades might come like that. Some trades might come where I'm, I'm making three times the $10. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll take that. Cause you know, 10% in and out, run it up. 10% in and out, run it up. You following me? That's why I start off at like running up small accounts. And the reason why I can't even tell you 10% is because I know my students and I know what I teach my students and I know that the method actually works. You get me? So even though I tell it, oh, you can use 10%, you can run up your account. Whatever, some of you guys are not going to be able to run it up because they don't have the understanding of how to actually run this up like how I'm actually running it up in my course. The following me, the course is updated. I drop videos in it. I do sessions with my students. I have one on ones with my students so you can actually be a part of it once you're a part of the main Forex course, right? Now, first, I actually able to actually resist 10% and be successful. You guys are able to actually, because most of the trades and the type of entries that we're getting, we're getting sniper entries, like some sniper, like we're getting entries at the wicks. And what I call wicks is this little line thingy right here. We're getting entries on these little lines right here. That's why we're getting entries. So we're getting entries at the base of the move, right? So this was entry opportunity one, entry opportunity two, right? So what I would have been doing is just taking the move from, say for instance, I got entries here. I'm trying to take it to the next level, not too far, you know. Once it once it reacts to that level, because what it what it trying what it trying to do right now is actually break out of this area. Once it pulls back, what I'm trying to do is see how best I can get more entries to push further up you know within the same space i'm watching it i'm just being cautious with my 10 percent 
10% risk, being cautious with it to get these aggressive gains. Now, when it is in a free, like a free space like this, a big free space like this, I have more opportunities to do more things, meaning the zones are a little wider, therefore I can go a little further up my trades, right? Now, if I'm taking aggressive entries from here and I have an overall understanding and overall move of the market because a lot of people are still selling in this market because they don't understand the market direction, they don't understand the zone, they don't understand when to enter, how to enter and all of that type of stuff, which is what I teach you guys in the course. It's important for you to understand because I understand that my student understand it. We're able to actually, we aggressively enter on these positions and then, although this is a big free space, while we swinging, I would probably, you know, because I have these other big positions down here, I'd probably just put on some smaller positions there at a probably 5% risk, smaller positions there because I have more money in my account, more leverage and stuff like that. Smaller positions there, and then I just take my time to scale it up on those different smaller positions. So that's why you see me have multiple different orders going up. Take my time, take my time, take my time. And then I'm moving my stop loss as I'm going because the, I move my stop loss to actually manage my trade. That's what I'm doing. But well, some of you guys are gonna be moving a stop loss and then you're moving the stop loss to a position where you get it out. Then you're wondering, why did I get it out? And Pajama is still in the trade. The reason why I get it out and I'm still in the trade is because I know where to enter properly and I know where to put my stop losses so that I'm able to actually still you know be successful in a specific trade I don't I don't just get it out immediately now a lot of these positions would have it out a lot of people I sent the trade like I even post on my, my social media and it hit out a lot of people especially beginners because I don't understand the market like that now for more experienced people like me who understand the market I understand the art cool a big part of risk management is allowing the market to breathe, allowing your trade to breathe and understanding also that while you're scaling in, sometimes you just have to chill and not scaling. You following me? So it's just, it goes back to mindset. This is what I tell you guys, the Millionaire Blueprint book and the course will help you a lot with that. Now, I'm in this position right now and this is just me just having a discussion with you right now this video I'm, I'm doing i'm actually doing a chart right now but i decided all right let me share some gems with you guys so you can, guys can benefit but i'm gonna put this official chart breakdown right video in the main forex course if y'all want to be a part of that join the course we're gonna do a meeting and all that i send my trades in the group when i'm trading on a day-to-day -day basis right but let's dive back in but let me just share some more stuff with you now i was understanding that this is a big free space like i send the trade from like here I sent the analysis to the group and uh, I never personally entered down here. I never entered because I'm watching Vikings. <laughs> you get this? I was watching Vikings. I like, I'm like, I'm not really like on the charts, on the charts, but I'm on the charts. You get me? So I was watching Vikings, posted the trade, got a little tired, saw the market push. Could I wait for it to pull back? Said, I let me not stay up and wait. Tired, go to bed. Market push, 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 and I'm chilling. Chill, caught the market here, and I'm still up over 220 pips, right? So I have 17,000 dollars on this account, and as I said, up 23,000 US dollars in profits, and I'm gonna actually scale this to at least from here all the way up to here is gonna be 800 pips. If I should go on my calculator, right? I'm gonna show you 800 pips times. 15 lots so eight seven six point seven times times 15 i'll, I'll probably make a hundred and thirty thousand us dollars on this trade because guess what i got in from down at this level here and, uh, and bear in mind, that's $4,000. Some people are like, oh, I'll never put $4,000 in our account. Like, why not? If you can put $4,000 in our account, you build it up to make $130,000. Come on. Also, some people are like, I'll never put a hundred in our account. I'll never put a thousand in our account. Why not? You want to make more. You have to spend more. You have to risk more. You follow me? That's what you have to do. $4,000 in the account, running it up to 
$130,000. This is what I like Forex. This is the benefit of trading Forex because Forex allows me to actually do these type of things. A lot of other stuff can do it, yes, but the time frame that is going to take for you to actually do it with these other things is just a little bit too long for me, right? Slow money is just like getting no money. I like my money fast. I like to know that I'm making big money right now because guess what? My young, <laughs> more of a spend the money. I want to spend that money right now. I want to do my investments. I want to do this, do that, buy my drip. I want to do all type of stuff. So I can't be waiting until I'm 60, 70, 80 to spend my money. No, I'm trying to make it now, trying to spend it now. I can just, you know, fully, full joy my life. All right, so be sure to get the Millionaire Blueprint book. Be sure to get the workbooks and all of that. And remember, for every 100 books ordered, we're giving away $100,000. Super blessed, super rich. Y'all know the vibe, be blessed.